Hey there, my name's Georgina. I am the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day every day when I'm not making videos like this one. Welcome back to my channel. If you want me to review your singing, my links are down below because I would love to help. Right, today we are looking at Morris Set. Oh yes we are. So, before we even dive into her singing, let's find out a little bit more about who she is. Morissette was born June 2nd, 1996. She was actually named Joanne Morissette Doug Amon. She's a Filipina singer and a former actress. She first rose to prominence when she finished runner-up on TV5 Star Factor at the age of 14. In 2012, she made a professional stage debut in the Rep Philippines production of Disney's Camp Rock. In early 2014, she released her first album, self-titled album called Morissette. In March 2015, she was tagged as the next big diva. She's the first Filipino artist to have her own V Live channel, a popular South Korean live video streaming service for celebrities. One of Morissette's most distinctive vocal features is her ability to sing in the whistle register with ease. This has led her to being tagged as the Mariah Carey of Asia. She revealed in an interview that Mariah Carey served as an inspiration to develop her talent in whistling. And to date, she has done numerous performances of Mariah's songs. To showcase her talent, Morissette occasionally adds whistles when doing covers and songs from her debut album, which also includes whistles. Another distinctive feature is her use of intentional vocal breaks. This technique is used by some singers to add expression to their singing. Morissette has a vocal range of five octaves, recently listed as C3 to B7. So let's take a look at Morissette in action. Oh, 
singer that you enjoy do you enjoy all of those vocal breaks is it your kind of style there is no doubt that she is a great singer though and really does have fantastic hey there, welcome back to my channel my name is georgina i'm the honest vocal coach what's up? What the heck is tender and mouth i liked her voice you are the things she's got going on you don't need to put so many notes they are constricting the sound that Baby, oh dear. <laughs> so today we are reacting to sudden high notes. I saw this video clip on YouTube while, you know, surfing and all that, not actually surfing, and thought this was quite impressive. So I've not watched all of it, I've only watched a little bit, um, and I just thought you guys would like to take a look at it as well. So this is famous singers doing sudden high notes. Ooh, let's dive in. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Now I know that my reset is outstanding, but that was quite amazing that one. Just that jump and it to be so clear and hit the note straight away. Oh my goodness. Good, but it didn't shock me as much as the Morissette one. <laughs> you go! That was great, Celine. Awesome. Keep it Now that was good, but did you notice there was a little bit of constriction there, some tension, so there was a crackle as it went into the note. <laughs> I don't get that. I really don't get that. What's that for? Is it to show that he's singing live? It just looks weird. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That That is ridiculous. Who can sing that high? Oh my god, 
She's so good. Oh my, oh my. Oh, Lisa, I love Lisa. She's so good. Um, she messaged me a while ago on my channel and said that she watches my stuff, which is so cool. So No idea. Lisa, that is astounding. No idea. That just, oh my God. Who knew? So cool. I love that song. <laughs> oh, Natalie. Woohoo. I love Natalie Wise. Did a masterclass with her this year. She's superb. I adore her voice. She's such a lovely lady as well. Oh. a great video clip selection oh my goodness what superb singers this is like some of the best right now don't you think was so on point then astounding notice a lot of these are all lifted all lifted making sure that the sound is resonating you can't really see any strain they're really well supported Ah, Christina Ramos she was on uh, Britain's Got Talent the Champions the other night I'm gonna be doing more reactions to her was like a selection of the best singers right now ah oh, awesome stuff it's an interesting the ones that are not quite as famous are the better singers what's that about hey there and welcome back to my channel my name is georgina and i'm the honest vocal coach i teach singing all day every day when i'm not making videos like this one and if you want to work with me you can do my links with my new link to my podcast are down below <laughs> Today we are looking at Morissette. Now this has been requested by my honest children, so thank you so much for that. She's done a couple of songs recently on her channel, uh, Fly Like a Bird and also Rise Up. I've decided to have a look at Rise Up today because it's an a cappella cover and I am a sucker for awesome harmonies. So let's dive in. Oh god, she hasn't started singing yet. That was so good. Bom 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 bom. The ah oh, love harmony. You're broken down and tired of living life. On a merry-go-round 
You can find the fighter, but I see it in you, so we can walk it out. Okay, slight difference on the melody from the original, but it works really well with the other voices blended together. Move mountains, we can walk it out and move. Ah, oh, such good breath control and that light ooh vowel there, it wasn't ooh, ooh, really light, very good. And to rise up, arise like a tan, arise up, arise unafraid, arise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. And to rise up. I'm loving the harmony choices. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so far it's very light. She's holding back. There's a, te a little bit of chest there. Nothing too belty. You can tell though that there's there's a build in this song. For you, 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 you. You know you feel like tired. Ah, slight intentional break there. Um, I noticed as well that she chopped off a couple of the words just to change the dynamics so it's not same throughout. But I promise we'll take the world to its feet and move mountains. Take it to its feet and move. Okay, let's just pause to say how hard this song actually is. The amount of transitions, chest into head voice and the way she's mixing and every... Ah, oh, there's a really good control here. Our eyes are afraid, our eyes up, and I'll do it a thousand times again. Exceptional. to say it's just wonderful the technique is absolutely spot on we'll rise up high like the waves and we'll rise up in spite of the eye Breath control there, wow.
Yeah. <laughs> Just gorgeous. The technique was superb. That is how you do it. What a wonderful version of the song. The harmonies work beautifully. I didn't know where to look at some points. Her control of the high belts is just out of this world just a phenomenal performance hey there and welcome back to my channel my name is georgina and i'm the honest vocal coach i teach singing all day every day when i'm not making videos like this one and if you want to work with me you can do i can react to your singing on instagram or i can critique your voice my links are all on my website link below oh and if you like what you see give me a thumbs up and subscribe So today we are taking a second look at Morissette. Morissette has been filming some isolation videos from home with different musicians. So far we've taken a look at one song, uh, Rise Up, and now we're going to be looking at Fly Like a Bird. Now this is quite a difficult song to sing. Originally by Mariah, it's pretty tough. Uh, I'm just interested to see what she does with the song. So let's dive in. Okay, I'm loving the black and white. I think it's really slick. It makes it look very classy. Also, the jumping from, you know, different uh, people here. So it just creates some fun in the video rather than just staring at her. You get to see what went into producing it. There's a place above, though my heart is struggling, free from all atrocities and suffering, because I feel the unconditional Okay, it's really, really difficult singing that soft with that much emotion and quality. It's just really tough. No, no, Is some breath control. Uh, oh, can we recover? Will the wind ever be a place of peace and harmony with no war and with no brutality? If we loved each other, we would find victory. But in this heart, the transition from the heady tones into a belt there's really clever. She did it so gently through as the song was building rather than you know soft and then suddenly blah she kind of built it up really well it's reality sometimes i feel just part of it i feel the need to fly like a bird take to the sky i need you now Lord. carry me high don't let the world break me tonight i need the strength of you by my side sometimes it's like can't be so cold This warm sound, this feel to it, it just makes you want to lay back, you know, with a cocktail with your feet in some, you know, nice warm water near the beach. It's just ah, feels gorgeous. <laughs> Awesome agility. Ah, 
ah, she's got such a controlled bell. It's not over the top. It uh, perfect. <laughs> Flip there. Please. Back into chest voice. Gorgeous. skin i could feel all of the hairs coming up on my entire body that whistle note was perfection so controlled oh god <laughs> Ooh, that push forward, yeah, 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 in the jaw, that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to say Jesus as well that's so hard ah oh, getting whistle register is a feat in itself and then once you're there being able to put words in as well that's crazy talent oh my goodness that's better than the last one ah oh, she is so talented I am well gel well gel just ah awesome stuff so what do you think of morissette's performance what do you think of the song choice let me know in the comments below and if you enjoy this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll Right, so it's a new week. My phone's pinging. Shut up, phone. It's actually my watch. Um, I've got a bit of merch on today. Uh, and I'm not just doing that because I want you guys to buy it. I just thought it's about time I actually had some of the merch to see what it's like. Uh, so it's actually quite nice. It's a soft, uh, long-armed hood-like uh, top. Only problem is the sleeves are a wee bit long. I feel a tad like Ariana with this on. Um, but it's very nice. It's soft, very thin. Um, but yeah, so check out my merch self, sh self, shelf if you're interested. Uh, so today we're looking at Morissette again. Uh, we've been looking at her for the last sort of three or four weeks. Um, today, it's not just her though. And it's a Demi Lovato song. It's a tough song and I'm really interested to see how she copes with this um it's just uh it's not just uh Morissette there's two we've got Jessica Sanchez and Morissette I know very little about Jessica Sanchez I've heard her voice occasionally but don't really know anything so let's dive in Okay, straight away, intentional break on the happy for you. That little squeak is an intentional break. Um, sounds quite nice. Audio is not great because it's a live fan video. Um, both women have got a maturity to the voice, a warmth. Um, I'm not totally connecting with the song yet, but the technique is good. <laughs>
Okay, so the vocals are tremendous. The techni technique is great. But what I'm feeling here is that this is quite early on in the song and there's a lot going on. Uh, Morissette is going for it. And it's, it's like, where is she going to go by the end of the song if she's using so much of her strength and just dynamic qualities so soon in the song? Love that choice there where she went into more of a head tone and then back into bell. Really nice quality there. But they're not totally balanced for me right now. Morissette's kind of overdoing the, the dynamics compared to Jessica. I think she's holding back a little bit more. Um, it, almost like Morissette's ahead of Jessica in terms of dynamics within the song at the moment. I do feel there's a bit of a battle going on here, like trying to outdo one another. It's not a good thing, really. Okay, so that last section, I felt it was a little bit unbalanced. It was always like Morissette wanted to be better than Jessica, and then she stood back and let Jessica become in her own space and, and no, shine. Uh, it's just a little bit mismatched, that part of the song. <laughs> Okay, so it was actually a great performance from both individuals, but there were times when it felt like they were trying to outdo one another. Definitely more from Morissette's part in terms of Jessica. She was holding her own and she was just enjoying it. So I'm assuming maybe it was a gig that it was Morissette's gig and Jessica came as a guest. I don't know, but it did feel a little bit like that. Uh, the technique at the end was outstanding, but I thought Morissette was a bit full on at the beginning. In a song like this, part of the emotional quality of it is starting soft and build and build and build and build. But I think she came in too soon with the power. So where's she going to go after that? You know, you're like, you're just a bit too much too soon. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you have the same opinion as me? Am I saying something that makes you like, oh, no, she's totally wrong. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina and I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day, every day when I'm not making videos like this one. And if you want to work with me, you can do. I have a few slots left for one-to-one -one singing. So take a look at my website. And if you like what you see today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So today we are doing a musical theatre Monday. Yay!
Yeah, it's my thing. I love musical theatre. It's just, ah. Oh. And the fact that Hamilton is coming soon to Disney+, Plus, don't get me started. And the fact that Six the Musical is going on a drive through tour. A drive-in tour? What's that about? Oh, my God. So I am kind of excited about the musical theatre stuff. So today we're going to be looking at Morissette again. I've looked at Morissette, looked, well, I've listened to Morissette for the last few weeks from your awesome suggestions. So today, my honest children, I'm going to be looking at Defying Gravity, sung completely live, no lip sync, no nothing. This was from her Instagram. It's been uploaded to YouTube as well. This is Defying Gravity. Let's dive in. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep. Okay, gorgeous beginning, really good diction, enunciation, it's all very clear. Pitching is great, it's very conversational, so she's drawing you into the story. There's some really beautiful vocal tones right now. It's time to trust my instincts, close my eyes, and leave. Okay, extra little riff there. Beautiful transitions between a chest mix head voice there. Superb. I'm through accepting lips. Cause someone says they're so. Some things I cannot change. But till I try, I'll never know. Too long I've been afraid of losing love. I guess I've lost. Well, if that's love, it comes at I love that tone. Soon I fly. It's so gorgeous. This is superb. Really, really good use of all of the sound shapes that you know the vowels that she's got there. It's it's lovely. Gravity. Kiss me goodbye. I'm divine. Control there is superb. The uh, the timing is also superb. It's so difficult that bit to get the timing in. The amount of students I've had who were like unlimited, trying to balance that timing. She's got it. I know it sounds truly crazy. True, the vision's hazy. But I swear someday I'll be up in the sky to find gravity. I'm flying high to find gravity, and you can't pull me down. Okay, different note than usual. Um, but it, uh, it's so well done. There's a depth and maturity coming through in her voice in this recording compared to the previous ones. Back 
This is ridiculously good. This is up there with the best versions of this song ever. I'm logging high, defying gravity, and soon I'll match them in out. And nobody in all of us knows that that there is a was his ever gone of ring. My goodness, that was outstanding. I love the fact it was completely alive. There was no tuning, no lip syncing, no nothing. Literally her to the camera and that was outstanding. There wasn't a no out of place. Her timing was superb. Her control was superb. Her transitions were superb. I love the fact that she had some extra riffs, especially near the end. Oh my goodness. So what did you think of that performance? I thought it was outstanding. And if she doesn't get the part and you know in Wicked, I'd be very surprised. I'm not even sure she was auditioning, but I think she'd probably get offered the part. Hey welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgine and I'm the honest vocal coach. I teach singing all day every day when I'm not making videos like this one. And if you want to sing along with me, I have a set of vocal exercises on Spotify, iTunes, all that. A whole bunch of training exercises which can help you warm up and develop your voice. Take a look down below for the links or indeed just jump onto Spotify and put in my full name which is Georgina Hill Brown. And if you like what you see today give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So it's time for a vocal. We've not had one of these for a while now. Because I, ah, the vocal battles are tough for me. It takes a heck of a lot of editing. Plus, I get lots and lots of feedback from my awesome subscribers, my honest children, and other people too. You know, saying, well, I don't think it's fair that she's singing in this place and they're singing in this place and blah, blah. Ah, it's never going to be perfect in terms of comparing the two. It's just not. My vocal battles are meant to be a little bit of fun and investigating the voices. You know, who it can do what type of thing. So today we're going to be looking at Morissette and Leon Lewis. Now this is going to be quite a battle because both of these voices are incredible. Now Morissette I think is still earlier in her career compared to Leon Lewis. I think Morissette can probably belt a lot higher than Leona as well. But I'm really interested to see who's going to win. And how it works, just if you haven't seen these vocal battles, they get a point for the technique. So how good the technique is. It's not about emotional quality. It's literally who has the best technique for that note. And I haven't chosen the clips. So don't beat me up for this. Let's dive in. Okay, equal. Both of them had superb technique. Although, do you notice that Morissette kind of ran off the note a little bit? She kind of like fizzed it out, if you like. But both of them, the technique was great. I'd say that uh, Morissette had more depth to her lower tone, though. So I'm going to go point each because the technique was equally great. We can make it Neither were particularly awesome, I must say. They were a little bit more wispy. That support necessarily wasn't there. Um, but they were technically equal yet again. Um, I, it's a tricky one. I would say Morissette just pipped it a little bit more because she had a little bit more depth and it had a little bit better support to it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Back 
Point each again. This is going to be a tough one. I would say Leona was better at that point. I think Morissette struggled a little bit with those notes that time. Um, so Leona gets the point. <laughs> Both equally great. Very good. Point it oh, ah, point each. This is this is a battle, this one. I think breathier for Morissette there. It didn't feel like it had the greatest support there. I know it was a style choice, but I thought uh, Leona definitely had a better control. So Leona. With an empty heart, I am free again. Oh, okay. This is hard. I thought both were good again. I don't want it to be an all point, you know, point each video, but point each. Okay, so we're on to the belts now. Ooh, my favourite bit. They were both amazing! Oh, point each. That time, I think Morissette had no vibrato, whereas Leona added a little touch of vibrato at the end. But technique-wise, again, they're both superb. Point each. They're both amazing. Point each. Leona that time, Mori had a slight push to it. You could just hear a little bit of rasp, which meant that she was just overdoing it just a little. So Leona got that. I feel that Mori had a little bit more support on that one. Um, I just felt that Leona's was good, but not as good as Mori, so Mori gets the point. Leona Lewis there, they were both incredible, but the agility and the control that Leona had there just outdid Morris, even though she hit the big note. Yeah. They were both much of a muchness. I thought that uh, Mori was slightly better there. I don't really know why Leona was sat on the floor behind a speaker. Both superb. There's definitely more depth and warmth in Maury's though compared to Leona's, but technique wise, spot on, point each. Oh, 
that was a quick one. I thought Maury was better. She had more depth to it, a little bit more control. Maury gives the point. <laughs> Oh, they're going really fast now. I thought Maury was better. <laughs> it feels like Maury's going for it just that little bit more than Leona now. Leona's playing it slightly safe. She knows she can do it. She knows she can belt. But Maury's just like, yay, let's do it. So Maury gets the point. <laughs> Ooh, bit dodgy there for Leona. Maury gets the point. Maury gets the point again. Right then, so we're on head voice and falsetto now. So the highest tones. He. You see, that was totally different styles. We've got um, Leona doing a classical technique and Maury doing more of a, a belted contemporary sound. So they weren't really in the same ballpark at all. Uh, but technique-wise, they were both superb, so point each. <laughs> Both very good. Point each. Wow. These girls are really, you know, this is a battle. <laughs> Both incredible. Point each. This is crazy. Both good, but Leona pipped it, and it was technically Leona's version that she was singing. Leona, Leona Lewis. <laughs> Both excellent. Actually liked Maury's a bit more, but technique wise, they both get the point. No more point of I think Leona there, um, I felt that uh Maury was battling against the feedback, she was struggling, she was like Arr! I'm trying to sing here in the feedback so I think Leona gets the point at that point right so that was quite a battle they really are both very very good but I felt through the higher belts I think Mari just pipped Leona a little bit and she seemed to have a bit more depth in places as well so let me know what you think of these two ladies who's your favourite and why let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one bye love.